Oh, well, that's it. Shift up for another couple of hours, Jack, oh, eh? Off, mate. What's he doing here? What's this up here, then? Staff vacancy. Applications invited for the post of assistant inspector. Oh, yeah? Good advertise for him now. I thought they got them from the Chamber of Horrors. <laughs> <laughs> no, they just stick a wanting notice up outside the police stations. <laughs> you can laugh. That's a responsible position. Two pound a week extra in status. Ah, it's no good to me, mate. I'm shop steward. I don't want a job where I have to report my mates to the management. Here he is. No, of course not, no. You shouldn't report them to the trade union. <laughs> this is a chance to better yourself. I don't know what you're doing this job, mate. You're wasting your time. You can have earned a fortune on the films. Oh, yeah. Playing Dracula. <laughs> <laughs> oh, very droll. <laughs> no, but it's not. That, is it? <laughs> no, it's dead right. You know. I mean, before you become an inspector, you have to have all your teeth taken out and a couple of fangs put in instead. <laughs> With your front choppers, mate, you wouldn't have to bother. <laughs> you two blokes don't know a good opportunity when you see one. I had to wait years and years for the chief inspector before me to retire. What, him? God, no, he didn't retire. He went to Russia to carry out Stalin's purge. <laughs> Wrong again. He went to Bognor to grow roses. <laughs> Here, Blakey, what are you going to do when you retire? Oh, he's got a job ready made for him, he has. What? Undertaker. That <laughs> <laughs> wouldn't be any good. It'd report the earth for being two minutes late. <laughs> it would be if you were driving it. Oh. I don't suppose I ever used to want your name put down for this, dear? What, mate? God, you must be joking. The only good thing about it is a couple of quid extra that goes with it. Ah, oh, forget it. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so you might as well. Neither are used to smart enough for the job. Look at the style of you, look. Scruffy looking fairer. Cool. I'd like to see either of you have to come to work like me wearing a shirt with a starch collar. The way he walks, they've starched his shirt and all. <laughs> <laughs> See you in a couple of hours' time, mate. Oh, mate. Looking for a job, then. <laughs> uh. Hello, Louie. Hello, love. Uh. Oh, thanks very much. <laughs> Caught in, innit, eh? Get your own papers, mate. That's funny. How can I sworn I left a fag up here on the mantelpiece this morning? Yeah, you did. I'm smoking it. I thought it was one of mine. One of yours on the mantelpiece? You keep yours in the bedroom in a little black box underneath the floorboards. No, 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 Olive. Put the kettle on and give your brother some tea, love. Oh, wait a minute. Let me clear my chest first. <sighs> oh, blimey, get me tea first, will you? I've got to be back at the depot in a couple of hours. Oh. Mum, why can't you get it? Because I've got to mend my coat first. I can't go out like this, you know, all the lining's torn, the hem's gone all to pieces, and there's an awful hole in the, in the pocket. Why don't you put your best one on? This is my best one. But why don't you get a new one? Oh, so expensive. I saw a lovely one in Jones the other day. It was 14 guineas hanging up in the window. Well, of course, that was out of the question. Uh, well, you got your clothes money in this little box, had you? Yeah, I did, but I, I used to use my coat money for the gas bill. Why? Because I had to use the gas money to pay the electric. <laughs> Love, I'll never work that system out. Here, Arthur. Yeah. Why don't you ship in a few quid and get Mum a coat? Yeah, well, of course I'd like to. I mean, I know my duty as a son-in-law, but I have had one or two expenses lately. I mean, it's not as if Olive's working. She's always ill. No, no, Mum, no. Now I come to think of it, you must have a new coat. I mean, it's not fair you walking about with that thing. No, leave it to me. I'll think of something. Well, I don't know. If I'm going to have a new coat, I'll have to do the same as Rusty. Grow it myself. Won't I, love? You still fancy yourself as an inspector, do you? Yeah. Uh, do, you, uh, do you think I'll get the job, then? Oh, I'm dutifully, yes, yes. <laughs> yeah. In fact, uh, I'd go so far as to say you're bound to get it, yeah. Oh, yeah? Hey, uh, uh, what makes you think I'll get the job, then? Well, you're the only one who's applied for it. <laughs> well, I'll take the notice down, shall I? Yeah. Uh, Mind uh, you, if it wasn't for the diabolical shortage, you would never have stood a chance. Why not? Well, there are certain physical requirements, you know. Blimey, I'm only asking to be an inspector, not to be put out the stud. <laughs> yes, but there's a, a certain minimum height. What do you go? Five foot nine. <laughs> with me hat on, of course. Yes, well, uh, I'll have a word with the staff again. Hi, Sam, mate. Oh, oh they're taking a notice down. Somebody must have applied for the job. <laughs> Wonder who that was. Well, it's a better fact. It oh, was, I wouldn't uh, like to be in his shoes, would you, eh? No, no. Ah, uh, inspectors. Of course, you're a driver. You don't know what us conductors can do to them perishers. 
Make their lives hell on earth. Yes, well, uh, I've had a word with the staff yeah, manager. I'll talk about it later. No, 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 it's perfectly I'll, all right. I'll, I'll no, it's all, it's all fixed. I'll talk about it no, later. No, it's all fixed, mate. You start work tomorrow morning as assistant yeah, inspector. Well, <laughs> you put him for that job? You? Well, let's face it, somebody had to take the job. I mean, there's a limit to what a human being can stoop to. Well, the truth is, I needed the extra money. So did the train robbers. <laughs> fuss is about, mate. I mean, I'm still the same bloke. I mean, we work together and, I mean, it, it could be easy. I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm still, I'm one of you. How can you be one of us if you're one of them? <laughs> God blimey, Mum, you still mending that old coat? Well, you know, I don't know whether this coat wants a new lining or the lining wants a new coat. <laughs> Still, the buttons are very nice. Well, I tell you what, me old darling. Yeah, love. You can chuck that thing away. I've got a surprise for you. Really? Yeah. What is it? Now, don't get excited. Wait a minute. Oh, now, I'm excited. Come on, get me. Wait a minute, Mum. Now, well, shut I'm your... waiting. Come on, don't keep me waiting. What is it? Well, shut your eyes. Shut, shut your eyes. All right. All right. Promise, shut your eyes. I've got to touch it. Well, on. don't open them till I tell you to. No, 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 shut tight. Come on. All right, open them, open them. Oh! What a beautiful coat. I thought you had to add in lost property. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. That was the one in, uh, in Jones's, the one I saw in the window I had my eye on. That's the one. I knew you knew your new coat and, uh, well, I managed it and, uh, where's yours? <laughs> oh, mine? Mm -hmm. All mine? Yeah, yeah, I saw it in the window and, uh, well, I've got it for you. What do you do, break the glass? <laughs> no. I paid for it in cash. Oh. All paid for? Well, in 36 weeks' time it will be. Oh, oh Stan, you won't be able to afford all the payments. Yeah. Get away, it's only ten bob a week. Besides, here, I've got something to tell you. Oh, yes. oh, no. I've been promoted. You what? No! Yeah, yeah. They've, uh, they've selected me to be an inspector. You? Yeah. An inspector? Yeah. I mean, you must have been the only one who applied. Oh. <laughs> what are you talking about? There was... Dozens of them apply oh, for the job. Oh, Stan, I'm proud of yeah. you, darling. I'm really proud of you. I knew you'd, yeah. I knew you'd be able to do something like that. Yeah. Oh, all your mates must be excited you've been promoted. <laughs> Delighted. <laughs> Didn't anyone hear the front door, Bill? Why? Oh, this Jack come to see you. Oh. oh, he's come to congratulate you. Oh, I don't know about that. Oh, good evening, Mr. B. Oh, hello, Jack. Arthur. Oh, oh, I left my dartboard here the other evening. Yes, behind the sideboard. Huh. Oh, of course, I forgot. It's our practice night for darts tonight, isn't it? No, I've come to take my dartboard back. <laughs> oh, I see. We're practicing round your house. All right, I'll come round there then. I shouldn't bother. You've been dropped from the team. Well, I mean, we can't have an inspector play for the team, can we? I mean, put the lads off their game, won't it? Oh, tough. Well, I won't keep you, inspector. You've got to swallow up your rule book, I expect. I'll see you tomorrow. And take care. Uh. Oh, Stan. Jack was was very strange. There won't be no harm or no unpleasantness between you and your mates, will there? No, no, no. I'll take your notice, Mum. It's a bit of jealousy. It's always like that when somebody gets on in the world. No, don't you worry about it, love. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right. I think I'll go. I'll go to the supermarket and do some shopping. I thought you did that this afternoon. We did. We got everything. Yeah. Well, I'm going to buy some budgie seeds. Blimey, we ain't got a budgie. <laughs> well, I know it's only nine pence, and it's worth it to show off a new coat. <laughs> Thank you, Ma. Mind you, I've hardly got time to eat it. Everyone's gone potty in this house today. Stan was in the bathroom over an hour. Well, it's his first day as an inspector. Yeah, well, I thought he was going to be a bus inspector, not a sanitary inspector. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, right, good morning, all. Oh. Don't, oh, don't he look distinctive? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, I don't agree. I think he looks fine in that uniform. <laughs> Just like Lord Louis Mountbatten. Yeah. <laughs> Just dropped in for breakfast of bangers and beans, no doubt. What were you in a bathroom so long for? Well, I had to have a nice close shave, didn't I? I mean, I've got to set an example to my conductors and drivers and mass busmen. Yeah. You shave your legs as well, set an example to the clippies. <laughs> Put your hat on, love. <sighs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it does suit you. Yeah, oh, it's half his face. <laughs> yeah, well, well, I admit it's a bit on the big side. Olive, stick a bit of paper under the brim, will you, for us? Oh. Here, Mum. Those be ties, it's straight. Oh, smashing, love. I always think that a, a stiff collar does something for a man. Yeah, it strangles him. <laughs> Blum is an half tight, this one. Look, 
It'll be ever so cold out. It was put on on your scarf, yes, love. Yes, good idea, Mum. Very good idea, that. That's uh, right. Very good idea. Oh, dear, dear. Oh, well. Oh, well, put it over your ears, love. <laughs> what are you doing? I don't want to... No, Absolutely ridiculous. Make me look stupid. Well, love, you've got weak ears. Yeah, match his head. <laughs> Don't be so ridiculous. I haven't got weak ears. No, no, don't tell that to your mum. I used to have cotton wool soaked in oil and put it in your ears each day. Don't you remember? I remember that, all right. I used to go to school smelling like a fish shop. <laughs> all the boys used to call me Stinky Stan. No, I don't the scarf anyway. I've got to look distinguished, there's no doubt about that. I've got to set start with my bus, and I've got to see that those buses go out on time. Blimey, take a better man than you. I've been trying to catch the six o'clock every evening. It always moves off at five two. That's done for years. I shall be on that bus tonight, and I'll see you catch it. It will not go out till six o'clock. Oh, well, we'll see. Right, now I'm going to try my new coat on. <laughs> yes, I'll, I'll try mine on too. <laughs> so excited. Blimey, you're not coming with me, are you? <laughs> no, I, I'm going to bring the milk in. If you've got something nice, you want to show it off? Right. Rule book. Rule book. Clipboard. Clipboard. Inspector's pencils. Inspector's pencils. Right. You'll find the, the, uh, the first day is the worst. Of course, it's all right if you're a born leader. Oh, of course, yes. <clears throat> so I'm afraid you're in for a hell of a time. Well, don't worry. If anything goes wrong, I report it. That's right. If there's something wrong, you report it. And if there's nothing wrong, you report it just the same. Oh. Right? You're on your own. Right. Ah, morning, Bill. Morning, Sid. <laughs> oh, look what we got here. Hitler's deputy. Good morning, sir. Ah, morning, Jack. Uh, do you mind, mate? Put that bag out. Huh? Why? Oh, now, come off it. You can see up there. It says, no smoking on that sign. Oh, yeah. But I'm not smoking on that sign. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't be funny. Put the fag out, don't be... Right. Another thing. You have incorrect demeanour. You should be wearing a collar and tie. I am wearing a collar and tie. <laughs> <laughs> see you when you come off duty, love, eh? Sure. <laughs> Thanks, Dolly. You've got a nerve coming on duty looking like that. I should worry. It's all right for some people. You can do as you like when you're just good friends with one of the bosses. Oh, shut up. Brazen bit. It's one of the old depot doesn't know. <coughs> Nothing wrong with her uniform, is there? <laughs> Don't worry, Jack. I know the rules. <coughs> hey, excuse me, miss. Are you in this number nine? I am. Well, you know the regulations. I can't allow you to get on this bus with a skirt like that. And what's wrong with my skirt? Well, if I could see it, I'd tell you. <laughs> Have you read the rule book? No. Why not? Well, it's hardly painted place, is it? Right, don't be funny. I'll read them out to you, shall I? Here we are. Appendix three. Conductor says, Mini skirts should not be more than two inches above the knee. Well, that's about right, isn't it? <laughs> I said two inches above the knee, not two inches below the waist. Now, look, my pencil, my pencil here, is about nine inches long. Now, that must be ten inches uh, short, hello, that skirt. Hello, hello, hello. What's he inspecting now? Look, love, I'm the shop steward. You don't have to suffer liberties from the management like that. Oh, come on, Jack, come off it. Look at that skirt. Oh, what's wrong with it? Blimey, you can see everything by Adam's apple. <laughs> Very nice, too. Makes travelling a pleasure. Probably even a pouch comes below a skirt. <laughs> As shop steward, I see nothing wrong with that skirt. Oh, but mine, but Blimey, she's on a double decker. You get some very funny people standing on the platforms of these buses. Yeah, I know. They call them inspectors. <laughs> I'm going to report you, miss. What's the delay then? I think her skirt should come down. <laughs> Stop thinking about getting her skirt down and get that bus out. Go on. I'm going to go to the rules. Get it out. Go on. I'm just saying about the rules, that's all.
done everything wrong. I don't know how you got the job. I can tell you, Sonny, but you're not old enough. <laughs> right. I'll report you for insolence. Get lost. <laughs> Blimey, 24 bus routes on this company, and I hear you've had a ride on every one. Well, fasten your safety belt. Don't touch that bell. What's up? This is the fair stage. Are you know what time we're supposed to leave here? Yeah, 6 o'clock. That's right. 1,800 hours. Oh, sorry, mate. My watch only goes up to 12. Don't... 17.56 it is. Go on. Yeah. I've had other complaints about this bus, too. Oh, yeah. Let's have your way, Bill. I'll check the tickets. Have your tickets ready, please. Ticket, ticket. Right. <laughs> Look at this ticket. Absolutely disgusting. Well, it's all right. It's got a number on it, isn't it? I can't tell. It's covered in bubble gum. Here, wait for me. Oh, I just made it. <laughs> I told you, didn't I? I'll see these buses run the time, mate. It doesn't go out to six, and it's not going to go out to six. Yeah, very good. Congratulations. I'll have this seat here. Right. Uh, excuse me. Oh, that's right. No smoking downstairs. Want to smoke up? Yep. You're quite right. Must stick to the rules. Stab, stab. Stab. Oh, 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 dear. What do you want, I thought, Mum? I thought you were going without me. Well, I had to do some shopping, and I knew this was your bus, so I... Look, Sam, right. I, I want to talk to you about something. Yeah, yeah. Girl, yeah. Blimey, we'll be here all night. <laughs> I want, look, <laughs> Mum, look, see. I'll see you after, eh? Yeah, sit down, right, will you, darling? Yeah, I'll just sit there. Oh. Well, there's no room upstairs. I won't bother to smoke, right? Here. Hello, Ma. Hello. You pinch my seat. Oh, well, you can have it. No, it's all right. You can stand. Right, come on, let's all get over. Yeah, we're full up. Might as well go. Don't touch that bell. What's that now? It's not six o'clock yet. Yo, oh, sorry, mate. I'm being regulated. Hope it makes you feel better. <laughs> right, where you go? Hold it, hand out, please. Hey, what do you think you're doing? It's gone six o'clock. There's no standing after six. Get off. <laughs> You've got potty or something. You just now said it was all right for me to stand. That was then. Now's now. It's gone six, no standing. Get off. Look, mate, I know the rule book too. And you were allowed standing passengers after six o'clock to avoid hardship. What hardship? The black eye you're going to get unless you ring that bell. Don't get hasty, Jack. <clears throat> Let's have a look at the rule book. There might be a way out of this. Can't you sit on my knee? It's not three years or under. Let's have a look. Ah, here we have. Ah, what a shame, Arthur. Now then, if you'd have been a dog or a cat or some other small domestic animal... Yeah, Arthur, mate, there's but... a number seven behind us. Hop on that, you'll get a seat. Thank you, Jack. You wait like a chew mate. I need it It's all right. He'll be home a couple of minutes after us. He won't. That bus turns around at the next stop. <laughs> Like this happening again. Yes, sir. Have I made myself clear? Perfect. Get rid of that moron and, and do something with these. I don't want my staff upset. Come along, my dear. I want to work with you in the office. I'll see you later. Butler. 
Good night, Jack. Oh, good night. Thank you. Watch it. Butler. Butler. I'd like a word with you. What? You are a useless, incompetent twit. <laughs> what? What have I done? You've been enforcing the rules, haven't you? Well, that's my job, isn't it? You don't force men to work to rule when they're working. They only work to rule when they're on strike. <laughs> oh, God. You, you useless twit. And as if that wasn't enough, you made a complaint about a certain clip of skirt here, didn't you? Well, I, I thought she was indecent. It happens to be the way the manager likes her. <laughs> it says in the rule book. <laughs> Butler, Minis Butler. What? There are things going on at this depot that have never been in any rule books. <laughs> well, all right, I'm sorry. But how was I to know she was the manager's bit of... <laughs> I, I, I will not make any more complaints tomorrow. No. No, you won't do that, no. You'll be too busy driving a bus. Oh, back driving, number. Oh. Rule book. <laughs> Clipboard. <laughs> Inspector's pencils. Inspector's pencils. Yeah, sorry about that, Mum. I was having to work with the inspector, see, and not. What are you doing in your old coat? Where's your new one? Well, Sam, that's, that's what I wanted to tell you. What? I've, uh, I've took you back to the shop. What for? Well, I, I've been thinking a lot, Stan, and, you know, you only took this new job just to pay for it, didn't you, love? Ah, not exactly, no. Stan, <laughs> I don't think you'd be happy if your, if your pals didn't talk to you no more. Ah, well, you know, well, love, <laughs> Stan, look, I, I want you to promise me you... You'll give up being the inspector. Give it up? He's just giving me the... Well, you can, can't you? Oh, yes, yes. Well, well if it makes you happy, Mum, I can, uh, I can resign. Will they be very upset? Well, they will be, the fellas, but I can handle them, you know. <laughs> Hello, Mr B. Uh, Hello, Stan, mate. Hello, Jack. Hello. Uh, look, Jack, Stan's going to give up being an inspector. Give it up? Yeah. Well, I've just... Uh, yes, I was uh, telling Mum I've resigned. Oh, oh, yes, yeah, sure, yeah. Oh, uh, Mrs B, be all right if me and a few of the lads come round for darts practice tonight? Oh, that'd be lovely. Yeah, oh, lovely. Tough. Well, uh, we'll expect you then at 2100 hours. Oh, very good, sir. <laughs> <laughs> hey, put a cigarette out. What you talking You know you're not allowed to smoke here. Why not? Because I ain't got one. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Thank you. Oh, no.